so welcome to all of you in video basic training in this video i'm going to explain about dhcp relay agent or you can say ip helper address configuration so what is this mean let's come back to the same topology in my previous videos i have configured this router as a dhcp server to assign the ip to all different vlans here also 10 vlan 20 vlan and single router is doing all the ip assignment to the different vlan but in real scenario sometime what happened this router is possible if it is connected to some outside world then this router is responsible for routing also and many other jobs also so it become overloaded and if you have very big network thousand of machines connected here so it become very difficult for the router to keep assigning the ip to all the machine so in that case what we can do we can put one another server here and can configure as a dhcp server that can be the microsoft based server that can be the linux based server to assign the ip so actually as we have configured the vlan here and as i have created a server vlan separate where we put all the servers so i'm going to put one more server here and going to configure it as a dhcp server okay let's do that first i put one server just connect it i'm going to connect it in the same vlan 30 i have the last video i have told you now that i have created one separate vlan 30 for the server so i'm going to put that here and going to configure it very first what i do i will remove the dhcp configuration from this router so, P, no dhcp no ip dhcp i'm going to remove the pool pool one is the market pool one is the sales pool so I have removed all the DHCP configuration from the router. Now no DHCP. Okay, just remove this out. No IP DHCP exclude. Address. Oh sorry, configuration mode. No IP DHCP exclude address. One is the ten dot zero dot zero dot one two ten dot zero dot zero dot ten, and one is the twenty. Okay, now our configuration has been gone. Sure. No. remove all the DHCP configuration from the router now you can see no machine is able to take the IP from any DHCP because there is no DHCP configured till yet failed now what I do just bring naturally I have told you server should always be with the static configuration so I am using 30 IP series so 30.0.0.3 and 30.0.0.1 is the default gateway that I have configured on the virtual interface of this router. So IP configuration has been done. Now I am going to enable the DHCP service here. So one is the 10 IP series. Default gateway is working as one. Let's demonstrate whatever IP I want to configure here. I've done it. 
सेकेंड पुल इज ट्वेंटी आई पी थ्री इज फॉर द सेल्स व्हीलर is all ip is default gateway ip i have configured on the router interface okay so just also i want to start ip from 100 30 pool this pool is for the 30 pool No need to do that because I'm uh, I'm going to put all the server there. So naturally, no need. To, okay, just I have done that. So now I have configured DHCP server. Here is the packet tracer, but in the real scenario, that can be the Microsoft based server. That can be the Linux based server. So I have configured the IP. You can see here. I have configured all the three IP series: 10 with default gateway, starting IP series 30, 10, 100, 20, 100. 100. Can this machine will be able to take the IP now? Right? No. We have the IP series. VLAN is working properly, but still the machine is not able to take the IP. Why? But because these all are the different, uh, I need to configure this on the first Ethernet zero by six. Configure it on the VLAN three. First Ethernet zero slash six. Switch port access VLAN thirty. Okay, now done it. I think it should work now. Huh. So these all of the different VLANs. Sure, we know. Oh, sorry, no VLAN here. That is on the switch. So, so marketing, sales, and server. So, but still, no machine is able to take the IP from the DHCP server, even it is working properly. Wait, 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 wait. Fail. Why this is happening? If you remember, in my previous video, I have told you. Router never forward the broadcast packet from one interface to another interface, and DHCP service completely work on broadcasting. So either it's looking physical, but every interface is a every VLAN is connected via separate VLAN, so a separate virtual interface. So running. So you can see here, all are the different virtual interface. So router never forward virtual uh, sorry broadcast packet from one interface to another interface. For that purpose, we have to configure the IP helper address or also known as the relay agent. Which allow to forward the DHCP broadcast packet from one interface to another interface. Got it? Configure terminal. Now, on each inter virtual interface, this virtual interface and this virtual interface, I have to tell that which one is the DHCP. Server where we have to forward this broadcast packet. So for that purpose, interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero dot ten. Command is IP helper address. 
Which one is the address? What is the address of this machine? 30.0.0.3. Okay. So that is the IP helper address 30.0.0.3. Same thing I have to repeat for the second interface. Because these machines require the IP na, from the DHCP server. So in the both interface, I have to do the same configuration. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 20 and IP helper address is the same because single machine is working as a DHCP server. Done. So this is the IP helper address or also known as the relay agent which forward the broadcast package. Check it. Now it is able to take. Yes, it has taken because I have excluded the IPO and check second VLAN. This is the second VLAN. Yes, it takes the 20 IP. So this IP helper address helps us to forward the broadcast package of DHCP into the another network and allow the broadcast packet to be passed to the another interface of the router. Look here, sorry. So pick one zero three because on this route server I have excluded the IP right in the uh, Cisco uh, router. What we do? We run the command exclude. But here we have to can do the graphically. You can see here start IP address is hundred, hundred, and hundred. So this server start assigning the IP like 20 check it again yes it is assigning the IP after the 100 okay so in this video I have explained to you about the same with the single router in my next video I will show you this via connecting some more routers and server uh, just show in my next video I will explain how suppose this machine is connected via WAN interface connected to the another router okay then here is some server is connected how we can do the configuration of that means we do the routing also in my next practical explain try to explain all the concept that we have to done till yet you can try to implement the access list also this is a complete practical scenario in next video i'm going to explain to you so hope this video is informative for you if you still have any doubt please write me in the comments thank you very much